Hi guys, I'm Mo. Welcome back to my art channel. Today we're gonna react to the 10 most expensive paintings ever sold. I will also try to kind of guess how much those paintings were sold for. So let's see if I will be able to get the prices. Just kind of right, um, I highly doubt it. Number 10 with a painting titled Masterpiece was painted in 1962 by the American artist Roy Lichtenstein, a leading uh, icon. I've heard of him before. Liar! I, I really just like that style. It's so simple and bold, like with those broad strokes. Pretty cool stuff. I, I really love that. The first guess is the hardest one because from there it will only get more expensive. Could be a couple of millions, could be hundreds of millions, could be... Could it be a billion actually? No, probably not. I, I would say... Let's go with a lower million number. Let's say 25 million. Not really a low million number, but yeah, you know what I mean, actually. And six oh, 165 million dollars. That's kind of mind blowing. And uh, yeah, I said 25 million, so 140 million away from the actual price. Number nine on the list is by okay. America's most famous abstract expressionist painter of the 20th century. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Maybe the artist had an idea behind that, but... The man I, was I Jackson know. Pollock. And the way he is actually painting this is like, I imagined it like holding the pencil and dropping, spilling the paint over, over it. But actually he seems like super focused, uh, like he has some kind of plan in the back of his head, so... But Pollock would become so famous that his work was able to sell for no less than 166 million. Oh, okay, 166 million, only 1 million more than the last painting, so I said 200 million. Yeah, so far not, not really that good. Would you actually buy this for 166 million? <laughs> probably not, but probably a lot of people are buying it, uh, knowing that this painting maybe now is worth 166 million and then if they keep it for a couple of years then maybe it's worth 200 million so at number eight we have a medio modigli next one an italian Let's artist see. who has became best known for his sculptures although he was also prolific in paintings and drawings oh, that's cool his style like was modernist you know what i always like about art and paintings if they have like a really particular style oh that year, the that's painting a is known as <laughs> new cliche Order. You know, people were offended so quickly a couple of hundred years ago. These days, like something like this, nobody would even care about it. Demonetized. Okay, let's say it's 175 million. New York for the voluptuous figure of 170 million four hundred. Oh! Did I say 170? 175. I already forgot what I just said 10 seconds ago. Yeah, I, I think I said 170 million. So I'm kind of right. It's 175 million. 175 million. Pablo Picasso. The multi-talented and Spanish-born Picasso embraced many different artistic styles and pursuits. He was a highly prolific painter, sculptor, printmaker. You know, you can say about Picasso whatever you want, but what I said before, you can clearly tell when you see an artwork from him that it's actually drawn or painted by him. So that's, that's unique and that's what I like. I don't know. Ceramicist, stage designer, and even playwright. But it is for his work in cubism that Picasso is most well known, including this painting titled Les Femmes d'Alger. Or... I, I like this one. I like the colors and the the style. Especially for a Picasso piece, I think it's it's super cool. I, li I love the colors, to be honest. So. Zero. Okay, we were at 170 million, so this time I will say 100. 83 million. One of 15 in a series he painted between 1955 and 1956. It sold for 181.2 million dollars oh. in 2015. Okay, so pretty Picasso, close. Always pretty his close. Own best salesman would have been proud. We now come to the oldest Ooh. painting in our countdown, deserving of its place. That's awesome. It's probably a Rembrandt, isn't it? Probably it's not, but I would say it's. It's a Rembrandt. Six. It's a pair of full-length wedding portraits by the Flemish master Rembrandt. Oh which he yeah, painted it in is. 1634. A a a at least I have some knowledge in art history. I love this guy's work. It's it's, it's just beautiful. I the don't pair know. Of paintings is and It's so super realistic. And although painted individually at the time, has always been shown and sold as a pair. Which is ah, okay. Those are two paintings, and they were sold. 
together. If these are two paintings, 200 million at least. Roughly 182 okay, million Okay, just dollars. one million dollar more. Mark Pollock, oh, who's the only Yeah, that's three actually exactly how I imagined this guy, how he worked. It's crazy. I mean, also look at how huge the canvas is. Oh my God. Let's see what... And 1950. What the artwork is this time. His painting, entitled 17A, is from that period for which he is most famous and was done in 1948. Like his other painting in this top 10, it too was done with oils and fiberboard. This one sold for even more. This doesn't really look that much different, to be honest. Okay, now let's say 191 million. At a huge 202 million dollars. 202! Okay, the price gaps get larger. We didn't get any one of those right, but we are $202 million right now, which is insane. Especially for like these paint splatter pictures. I I just don't understand, guys. I don't know. Now in number three is Paul Gauguin. A French okay, now the first three places. Now I'm I'm highly interested who will actually win. Impressionist Probably painter the Mona Lisa. who became only gained true fame and respect as an artist after his death. His work, which is today the third oh. most expensive painting ever sold, uh -huh. is from 1894 and is entitled Nafia Fa Ipoipoi, a Polynesian I, or... I, I think I've seen this artwork, let's say, 218 million. The painting sold okay, for no see. less than 212 million dollars in 2000. Only two paintings left, I want to get one exactly right. Cezanne was particularly famous for his still life and landscape paintings, two men playing cards in a Paris Definitely one of the better ones we've seen in this 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 ranking so far. The card players is a series. But actually, I'm I'm kind of confused that we don't see like these super crazy famous paintings like the Scream or something in this this ranking. So I don't even know if they actually never got sold or so. One hundred and sixty-six million dollars in. I forgot to actually guess. Oh my god, guys, what an embarrassing video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so now I just have one chance left to guess the price is right. Is Willem de Kooning, a Dutch American abstract expressionist painter who was part of the vanguard okay, of let's modern see art painters how in mid 20th the century looks. New York? The painting in question. Oh no, one of those abstract paintings again. This is the most expensive painting ever sold. Looks just like smearing around on the canvas. Uh, no offense. Okay, I would say 313 million. No, 300. No, 299 million. It is titled Interchange. Okay, come on. And it measures 79 by 69 inches. Come on. It certainly attained motion in the art market when it sold for the astounding price of come on. 300 oh, million no, dollars in 2016. Million. Even oh, more so close, guys. Be sold in the coming years. So close. Now, this Crap. Almost got it there, but okay. So this is the most expensive painting. I don't like it. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you liked it, and if you guessed some of those prices right. Then I will hopefully see you guys in one of my next dumb videos. See you there. Bye bye, guys. <laughs>